back. Today we're going to be making marshmallow ghosts. So since it's cold outside, hot chocolate's kind of like creeping into our world now. I don't know what that is a weirdest sentence I think I've ever said. Um, but either way, um, this is a fun way to combine the cold weather and Halloween because we're making marshmallow ghosts. So I love making homemade marshmallows. It's so much fun and you can be so creative with like the shape of the marshmallows. And I don't know why I've never done this before. I feel like it's such an obvious thing to do. So we're making little ghosts that can sit on top of your hot chocolate or whatever you put marshmallows on and like look all happy. Um, but anyways, let's get started. So first you want to pour a third of a cup of cold water into the bowl of an electric mixer and sprinkle the powdered gelatin on top. Let that sit for five minutes. Then place some sugar and a quarter cup of cold water into a small pot and set to medium high heat. Stir until the sugar has melted, then attach a candy thermometer to the pot and boil the sugar until it reaches 238 degrees Fahrenheit. Then remove the pot from the heat and stir it until the sugar stops boiling. Now it's a fun lesson that I learned the hard way when you're removing the pot from the heat. Hold the thermometer in your other hand so that it doesn't fly up and hit you in the finger and burn you with scalding hot sugar, which is how I got this band-aid, which is how, I don't know if you guys can see it in the video, but it was filming when it happened, so either way, it really, really hurts. Hot sugar is awful, um, and it like blisters your skin, it's awful. So um, yeah, just be careful, if you want to be extra careful, just wear oven mitts, um, but like I've been making marshmallows for years and this is the first time it's happened, um, but yeah, it's fresh in my mind, so it hurts, hence the Hello Kitty Band-Aid, anyway. <laughs> then add the hot sugar to the gelatin and stir the mixture by hand whisking for a few minutes to slightly cool. Then beat with an electric mixer on medium high speed for about 8 to 10 minutes or until soft peaks form. Then add some vanillinine paste or some extract and mix until combined. Then you want to work quickly at this stage because the marshmallow does tend to set very quickly. You want to spin that marshmallow into a piping bag with either a small round piping tip or just like slice off the end if you don't have a piping tip handy. Then line a baking sheet with parchment paper and pipe tall swirls onto the paper. Then stick two mini chocolate chips onto each marshmallow as the eyes. And to get them to stick to the marshmallow, I use a chopstick. You kind of just want to like poke them in to make sure like they're really in there um, because sometimes they can just stick to the surface. So you want to get them in so that they stay in the marshmallow. <laughs> Love the marshmallow to sit in at room temperature for six hours or overnight or until firm to the touch and not too sticky. Then combine the confectioner's sugar and cornstarch in a bowl and place it in a mesh sheet. Dust this over the surface of the marshmallows. Then remove the marshmallows from the pan with a butter knife and dust the bottoms of the marshmallows with that same sugar coating. Then just bounce in a mesh sieve to remove any excess coating and you are done! So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you like this video. I, I think I only have one other one, but I did some eyeball marshmallows and I served them in red velvet hot chocolate so it looks like eyeballs say, sitting I say sitting and soaking together, but sitting in blood. I think it's so cool. If you want like a gory dessert, try this out. It's so cool. Um, so yeah, I'll have it linked in the cards as well. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you like this video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for an all new video.